Hello everyone, this is Paul from SpanishWithPaul.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to express to hurry or to hurry up. Now I'm going to draw on a lot of things that we covered in the mini course series that I have on YouTube. So if you haven't been through that yet, I've put a link for you in the description box below this video. Now the idea of being in a rush requires the use of a reflexive verb in Spanish, but it's not nearly as hard as it might sound and as always, I'm going to give you lots of exercises and examples to help you. So that's all coming up next. If becoming fluent in conversational Spanish is one of your goals for this year, then consider clicking the link above to download my free course books that go along with all of my YouTube lessons. You can also subscribe to my channel to get a brand new Spanish lesson from me every single Monday. So with that out of the way, let's get started. The verb used in Spanish to hurry or to hurry up is apurarse. We have syllables of a, pu, rar, se, apurarse. Now what we can do is split this verb into two component parts. On one side, we have the verb ending in AR as most Spanish verbs do, apurar. And then tagged onto that is the pronoun of se, which in this case means one's self. So a literal meaning of apurarse would be to hurry up oneself. This is what is meant by a reflexive verb and Spanish loves using verbs reflexively. They're everywhere in the language. If we take apurarse to hurry up one's self and we change this end pronoun here to me, we get the sound of Apurarme. This means to hurry up myself. Apurarme. Now let's practice using this. First of all, what is I have to? Tengo que. To express I have to hurry up would then become Tengo que apurarme. Literally, I have to hurry up myself. Here you can see the reflexive verb, the reflexive nature of this verb being used. Tengo que apurarme. What is I need? Necesito. How would you say I need to hurry up? Necesito apurarme. What about I should or I ought to? How do we say that in Spanish? Debería. Now say, I ought to hurry up. Debería apurarme. What about, I'm going to? How do you say that? Voy a. Now say, I'm going to hurry up. Voy a apurarme. The word for late. In Spanish is tarde. We have two syllables, tar and de, tarde. Now to express I'm late, what they literally say is I go late. This would be voy tarde. Let's use it. How would you say I have to hurry up because I'm late? Tengo que apurarme porque voy tarde. What about I need to hurry up because I'm late? Necesito apurarme porque voy tarde. What about I ought to hurry up because I'm late? Debería apurarme porque voy tarde. How do you say I want? Quiero. Now say I want to hurry up because I'm late. Quiero apurarme porque voy tarde. Instead of I am late, you could also simply say 
it's late. This would be es tarde. Let's use it. How would you say, I need to hurry up now because it's late? Necesito apurarme ahora porque es tarde. In English, we'll often use the verb to be with the word late. For example, I don't want to be late for the meeting. However, in Spanish, they don't do this. Instead, what they say is to arrive late. What is the verb to arrive? Llegar. How would you say to arrive late? Llegar tarde. Now try this. I need to hurry up because I don't want to be late. Necesito apurarme porque no quiero llegar tarde. The word for the meeting, when it's a business meeting or something formal in a professional setting, is la junta. Notice the H sound here over the J and U. La junta. To express for the meeting, the word we use is para. So it becomes para la junta. How would you say for the meeting today? Para la junta hoy. Try this next one. I need to hurry up because I don't want to be late for the meeting today. Necesito apurarme porque no quiero llegar tarde para la junta hoy. The appointment in Spanish is la cita. La cita. How would you say, I ought to hurry up now because I don't want to be late for the appointment? Debería apurarme porque no quiero llegar tarde para la cita. We know that tengo que means I have to. If we get rid of the que, we're left with tengo, and this on its own means I have. So, tengo que, I have to. But just tengo means I have. How would you say I don't have? No tengo. The word for time is tiempo. And much time would be mucho tiempo. How would you say, I don't have much time? No tengo mucho tiempo. What about, I'm going to hurry up because I don't have much time? Voy a apurarme. Porque no tengo mucho tiempo. Try one more. I'm going to hurry up because I don't have much time and I don't want to be late for the meeting today. Pause and think it out. Voy a apurarme. Porque... No tengo mucho tiempo y no quiero llegar tarde para la junta hoy. Let's turn it around now. How do you say I want? Quiero. I don't want. No quiero. How would you say I don't want to hurry? 
No quiero apurarme. What's the word for this morning? Esta mañana. Now say, I don't want to hurry this morning. No quiero apurarme esta mañana. What about, I don't need to hurry now? No necesito apurarme ahora. How do you express it's fine or it's okay in Spanish? Está bien. Now say, it's okay. I don't need to hurry now. Está bien. No necesito apurarme ahora. To express, this is important. In Spanish becomes, esto es importante. Let's imagine we were doing something important and we wanted to say, I don't want to hurry because this is important. No quiero apurarme porque esto es importante. How would you say, I'm not going to hurry today? No voy a apurarme hoy. What I'd like to do now is change the angle over to you. For example, you should hurry up or you need to hurry up because it's late now. To do this, we take the verb apurar and we're going to change the pronoun tagged on to the end of it to te. So the sound we get is apurarte. This would carry a literal meaning of to hurry up yourself, apurarte. In the mini course, we covered how to say you should. I wonder if you can remember that. Deberías. It carries this S sound at the end for you should, deberías. How would you say you should hurry up? Deberías apurarte. How would you say, because it's late? Porque es tarde. Let's put it together. You should hurry up because it's late now. Deberías apurarte. Porque es tarde ahora. How do you say, you need? Necesitas. What about, you need to hurry up? Necesitas apurarte. What about, you have to? Do you remember how to say that? Tienes que. Now say, you have to hurry up. Tienes que apurarte. Finally, you might want to be a bit more abrupt and simply say, hurry up. This in Spanish would be, apurate. Notice that we have an accent over the U, so your stress on the word must change to apurate. What's the verb to go out or to leave? Salir. Now, how would you say, hurry up, because I'm going to leave now? Apúrate, porque voy a salir ahora. If you're serious about learning Spanish and want to become conversationally fluent, my main course, Spanish with Paul, is live and available for you now. Inside, you'll get my complete course, none of which is available on YouTube and also my personal attention to make sure you achieve conversational fluency in the fastest time possible. In short, if you like my free lessons on YouTube and the results they're giving you, then you'll love 
what I have for you inside the main course. You can click the link on the screen now to find out all the details. So with that said, I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Thank you.